Hi everyone, it's Pat, and today I'm doing my May wrap up. For May, I've read a total of 35 books, and today I'm here to show you all of them. Most of the books that I've read are ebooks because, yeah, I just I read ebooks most of the time, if not all the time actually. The first book that I read is My Life from Hell, the third book in the Moving Artist trilogy. This is by Tulula, Tulala, Tulula, darling. I don't know how to pronounce it. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, but it's mostly 4 out of 5 stars, and mostly because it's the last book. It's a fun series, to be honest, and yeah, it's a very fast-paced kind of read. The second book that I read is White Hot Kiss by Jennifer L. Armentrout, the first book in the Dark Element series, and this does not disappoint. Jennifer L. Armentrout is one of my f most favorite authors. And I really enjoyed reading this book. It's it's a great book because it's about demons and there's not a lot of books about demons that are as light as this one. So yeah, I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars. The next book that I read is Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins. This has been going around in booktube for 2-3 months now and it really is a good story. It's a, it's a light read fast but it's also it has a lot of um a lot of action it's not a fluffy read well it's a light read but it's not a fluffy you know kind of read that's very girlish but it's actually a lot of it has a lot of action so i really enjoy this book i gave it a five out of five stars the next books that i read are the even even arden trilogy by Shay Savage. Wait, say Shaft Savage. Shay Savage. And yeah, I really enjoyed this series. I really, it's it's very different. It's I, it's a new adult. I think. I'm not sure if it is, but I think it's a new adult. But yeah, I really enjoyed this series. I rated the first book four out of five stars. It's very short. It's like around two hundred pages, I think. And then the second and third book, 5 out of 5 stars. I really love this book. It's quite, it's quite dark, but it's, it, it's, it's just amazing. Just read it. It's so good. So good. The character, the main character, even Arden. I just love him. I love him. Okay, moving on. I read another Seisha, Shay Savage. I read another Shay Savage book, which is Surviving Rain, the first in the Surviving Rain series. I don't know how many books there are gonna be, but yeah, I also love this. I love her books. I love her books because the characters are very complex, and they're not just you know. The main guy character is not the caveman, too jealous kind of main character. They're actually very complex, and there's an actual explanation on how on why they act like that. It's very psychological, and I really, really like it. This one is Cursed by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I believe this is one of her first books, and I didn't really like it. There. The plot was, uh, I feel like the plot was too half-baked, and it could have been better, but yeah. I rated it a 3 out of 5 stars. Oh, and I rated Surviving Rain 4 out of 5 stars. The next one is Panic by Lauren or Oliver. This has been going around for a while around that time too, so I read it. I didn't rate it because I don't know what to rate it. I enjoyed reading it, it was fast, but there isn't there wasn't a lot of things that were happening. So I don't I don't really yeah, I, I, I felt like there could have been more to the story than just the game itself. If I'm going to make the storyline basically about the game, it's actually really good. Um, it's just a little the the game is pretty very life threatening of the challenges. And they do it because they're bored. And it's just, it's a little too morbid for me. 
the, the idea. But the story, it's, it's good. The next one is the one by Harry Cass. This is the last book in the Selection Trilogy and I rated it a 5 out of 5 stars. Mainly because it's the last book. The Selection series is... I read the Selection series I think around the time the second book was coming out when I first read it. So it's been quite a while. But... Oh, I liked reading the book. It was very it's a very fast read. It's just that the character is very frustrating. She can be very frustrating and she just can't make a decision. Even though I feel like she could have had made a decision already about a lot of things. I still enjoyed it. If you want to know more about this you can actually watch a lot of booktubers videos about their book talk on the one because it's very spot on about America and the story so the next book that I read is Airhead by Meg Cabot I wasn't expecting a lot from this I heard this from Padfoot and Prongs 07 did I say that right? She says it's not a very, it's not, you know, just a light kind of story. It's actually more than that. And it was. It was a lot of fun to read. It was very funny. But it's, it, it actually tackles a few very serious topics and stuff. So I really enjoyed reading this. I rated it a 4 out of 5 stars. And then the next book that I read is Starters. I felt like I needed a break from the world of Airhead because it's, it's a very busy and you know kind of whirlwind world because it's about a supermodel so I felt like I needed a break from that from that world and read a different one so I read Starters by Lisa Price and I enjoyed it I just didn't I felt like there could have been more to the story, it could have been developed more so that we can get to know more about the different characters. So I read I read it a 3 out of 5 stars. Then I read a second book in the Airhead series, which is Bing Niki, and I enjoyed it a lot more than I did the second, uh, the, third, uh, the, the first book. Yeah. So I read it a 4 out of 5 stars. And then I read a third book, Runaway, and I read a 4 out of 5 stars. And then I read the second book in the Starters series. I think this is the last book. It's a duology, I believe. So it's Enders. I read a, a 3 out of 5 stars. I felt like there, there could have been more to the story. But there's a lot of things actually happen. I just felt like the relationships between the characters could have been more developed. And then I read To Professor With Love by Linda Cage. It's, it's the second book in the Forbidden Men series. I read the first book which is Price of a Kiss, I believe. And whew, uh, it's it's an, an, an adult, a new adult or adult series. It has sexy times. So yeah. Um, but I really enjoyed it as well as the first book. The characters are very complex. They're more than just, you know, forbidden love because they come from a different family actually or different worlds. It's actually a lot more than that and you know, there's a lot at stake when it comes to their love story. So I really enjoyed this. I rated it a five out of five stars. And then the next three books are actually part of the Battle Books Readathon. And I read the Water Song series by Amanda Hawking. And it's a quartet, four books. And it is composed of Wake Lullaby, Title, and Elegy. I said it correctly. I read it Wake 3 out of 5 stars, Lullaby 3 out of 5, Title 4, and Elegy 4. It's a good series. I really enjoyed it. I, f I just felt like I didn't really get to know the main character that well. There wasn't a lot. It, it was actually a lot more focused on 
the other characters than her but it was her figuring out what she wanted to do after she turned into a siren but yeah I felt like I knew more about the past of the other characters because they have darker pasts and she, she has a dark past but it's not as complex and as heavy as some of the characters so I felt like yeah I could have related to her more the next few books are also part of the Battle Books Readathon, and those are the fairy tale retellings by Jackson Pierce, which consists of Sisters Red, Sweetly, Fathomless, and Cold Spell. I rated Sisters Red 4 out of 5 stars, Sweetly 4 out of 5 stars, Fathomless 3 out of 5 stars, and Cold Spell 4 out of 5 stars. And before I actually read Cold Spell, I read The Legacy of the Clockwork Key first by Kristen Bailey, and I read it at I read it at 3 out of 5 stars. Wow, I'm not going so fast. Next is Tangled Tides by Karen Amanda Hooper, the first book in the Sea Monsters series. And I really enjoyed this book. I really like it. There's a lot of things going on and there's a lot of like mermaid politics and I really enjoy that. As well as the character. A lot of things that have happened here, you would have thought some people or some authors or some books could actually cut this into half or maybe sometimes three but I feel like since a lot of things happen in the first book that could have been cut into two that means more will happen in the second book which I've started but I haven't finished because I felt like I needed a break from the world or I, I was looking for a different story so I read the summer series by Jenny Han. Jenny Han is actually coming here on 21st of June, I believe, and she will have a signing. I'm really excited. <gasps> okay, so yeah, it's the summer I turned pretty. It's not summer without you, and we'll always have summer. And I really enjoyed this series. They're very short and very fast to read. The character is a 16 year old girl, and at first I was like, oh my god, you're so annoying but understood it, understood it more because she's a 16 year old and I'm turning 18 and yeah she definitely has a lot to go through she she's like the normal 16 year old girl you know so yeah I rated the first book 4 stars the second book 5 stars and the third book 4 stars I read a few any a bottles uh, a few any a an Amy A. or Bartol. Bartol. Amy Bartol series. I'm not gonna say Amy. The first book that I've ever read from Amy A. Bartol is actually Under Different Stars, the first book in the Cricket series. And I really enjoyed it. So I was like, okay, I need to read a few more Amy Bartol books because she's a great writer. So I read the Premonition, ser Premonition series and it it is composed of inescapable intuition, indebted, incendiary, yeah. And I think there's there's uh, another a six there's a six book. I don't think it's out yet. So yeah, I really enjoyed the series. It's it's very complex, and I really want to continue it. And I rated the first two books five out of five stars, and the third and fourth none because I don't know how to rate it. I felt like there wasn't a lot of things happening and it was all the same things over and over again. So I don't really know how to rate it. But it's the writing's good. It's just that the plot itself and the events that took place there's not a lot of things happening so then I read The City of Heavenly Fire by the Saint Clair. <gasps> Uh, I rated it a 5 out of 5 stars. Simon. Okay, Simon and Jem slash Brother Zachariah. Simon. It kind of felt a little too convenient about that, actually. With Simon. With you know, a lot of the shadow hunters getting killed. It's kind of like the sort of perfect ending because you know they need new shadow hunters and 
and you know he's human and he can be turned into shadow hunter so that they can and, and isabel can be together and uh, uh, and jam and tessa uh, i need to get my hands on a physical copy of the book because there's a like a graphic I just died because there's Gem and Tessa sweating there <laughs> and I need to see it uh, yeah Suit of Heavenly Fire feels okay the last book that I read is actually a physical book and it is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray and I really enjoyed this series it definitely took some time to get used to this story because I've been reading a lot of contemporary or sort of set in this world kind of, you know, in this moment right now or in just, yeah, this is set in 1890s, around that time, around 1895, so yeah, it definitely took some, quite some time to get used to this and the character was at first I was really frustrated with her because I felt like she's too restricted and I felt like she could have break broke out of that but I couldn't but eventually understood that you know it's it's set in that time and women and people are very conservative and you know they have this beliefs it's very conservative so yeah I as the story goes on I definitely understood it and yeah I actually finished the series now and I'm currently reading Half Bad by Sally Green. I hope you guys enjoy that and I will see you in my next video.